Yeah? What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And I want a blowjob and a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, metalhead? I know you handled the critical evidence linked to the case. And I want to know about it. First off, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And second, even if I did, what makes you think I give a shit about what you want? Now, I strongly suggest you take your high-tech toaster-looking ass out of my way before I handle you. Take some concentrated look at what happened here tonight. Well, she knows what's what, that's why. These offices are off-limits to civilians, sir. Don't go in there. Don't get me started on that liberal crap. Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Haas. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Now oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is you want something? Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. God damn. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. From SWAT team commander to a crummy desk sergeant in a two-bit precinct. I don't need this from you. I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it, because you came to me. Okay, look, you're angry, and you've got a right to be. I'm putting you in a bad position, but I have to get inside that morgue. I won't let it get back to you. I'm always in a bad position. This isn't fair. Why are you doing this? Putting me between a rock and a hard place again. You want me to sacrifice my job to save your boss's ass? And if I lose my job, my life goes into the toilet. But you don't even care about that, do you? Yes, your job is at risk. Yes, you've taken the blame for what happened in the past, but look, I need your help. And it's important. You got my word, whatever happens, I'll take care of you. Well, that might be a start. Everything goes back to that day. I shot a kid, but he was dead before I did that. He chose to make himself a weapon, and he could have gone through us like tissue paper with those augments of his. That's why you ran off. You just couldn't take that. We all make mistakes, Wayne. Nobody blames you for it. You have to believe that and forgive yourself or you'll never put it behind you. You condescending jackass. I took the blame for what happened, but I don't deserve it. You should have taken that shot. You got the order first. When you refused, that forced me to do it. It's not my fault. You were responsible. And I want to hear you own up to it. Wayne, it was a bad situation. You didn't do anything wrong. Adam, I... Thanks. The door's unlocked. I'll tell the guys to let you through. Now, uh... I need to be alone for a while.
sounds good. Later. Sure him that these attacks are in no way linked to Humanity Front. My people have worked tirelessly. Jensen, right? Heard about you. Yeah, you were a good cop by most accounts. But you're lucky you got out. Are you supposed to be here, sir? I thought the station had been locked down. 